We have some huge new news for NBA 2K21. The new parks have been released. The new affiliations. Great new features that give you private courts and private parks. It's going to be huge. I'm going to break down everything that's new in NBA 2K21 and next gen in this video. But let's get right into it. All right, guys, so the first thing I want to talk about is I'm really excited for all this stuff that I'm going to break down in this video. But in case you're confused, this is for the next gen version of NBA 2K21. So it's only going to be on PS5 and the new Xboxes. It's not going to be available on current gen. And if you guys are asking why, it's because the new consoles allow them to add a ton of this stuff and support it. So you're going to have to have the new consoles in order to get any of this stuff. So this is not going to be like an update to the game or anything like that. But the first thing we want to break down and if you guys saw the trailer, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to link the trailer and I'm going to link a full article that shows all this stuff if you guys want to see it in the description. But the first thing is the big, the city. So the neighborhood is replaced with something they call the city. There's four different affiliations that they break down. But let's start talk about where you start. You start in a place called Rickyville. It says sitting just off the water's edge on the southern side of the city lies the Rickyville docks. Rookieville is exactly what it sounds like. This is where your NBA 2K21 city journey will begin. My players looking to dive into the city and all that has to offer must first prove their skills among other rookie my players in this isolated cluster of basketball courts. Meet the requisite actions in Rookieville and the gates of the city will open before you. So basically what this means is like, you're going to be able to choose affiliation, but only when you get the pro one. So you're going to start at rookie. They're going to put you in like a random park with a ton of bunch of other rookies and Basically, once you win enough games to get the Pro 1, you get to choose your affiliation. So that's where Rickyville is. It's just a starting place. Um, they talk about boroughs right here. This is what they kind of like call affiliations. Um, each dedicated, we're going to talk about more about what the specific affiliations are called later, but each of them has a dedicated space in the north, south, east, and west sections of the city. I wonder how this is going to work. Is this all together? Is it going to be separated? Because if this is going to be sets this huge world, are people going to get games? Like, I don't know how this is going to work. And how many people are going to be able to be in the park? That's what's unique. But it says, each borough has its own vibe and collection of basketball courts, decked out in the affiliation logos and colors. I, additionally, each affiliation area houses a unique warehouse basketball court, where new My Player progression features await. More on this below. So they have their each warehouse. They have their each kind of style with it. It's a, truly their affiliations, but it's new affiliations. It's not the old affiliations we had before. I don't, and this is what I wanted. We don't have Sunset, Old Town, Rivet. This is something completely new. So the event center, they have a brand new event center. Um, if you guys have seen in the trailer, and basically this is where all the new and old events are going to be in the special intra affiliations competitions. We're going to talk about rival day later because rival day is back. Uh, so there's a lot of new um, stuff that's gonna ha all happen in this new event center place. Then they have the garage hoops. This looks like um, basically this looks like a practice facility or something. So it says if another player passes by and sees you shooting, they will have the ability to step on the court and shoot with you. So like you can just shoot around. People can shoot with you. You can play one v one, two v two, three v three, horse. This seems like it's kind of like a my court. It's simple though, but it's like anybody can just go in. So it seems like it's easier to get people in there. And it says, as an added bonus, there are large VC multipliers you can earn on this court for your first five games played. This is a great day to start your um, day off as you warm up for the main event. So you can like warm up on the garage hoops or anything. Like it's just like, kind of like my court. It kind of reminds me of my court. So next thing is these quest things, apparently people of the city. So they're gonna have like RPG quests within the city, guys. So basically the first um, is a series of single player 3v3 games where you'll be challenged with the warehouses found in the core area of the affiliation. Some of these can be pretty challenging as you'll be facing off. So this kind of like reminds me of Court Conquer, sort of, like one of the quests. And the other line of quests will encourage you to get out and play games in the city. So basically you play a certain games in the city and you'll get like um, VC or rewards or unique clothing items special for it. So just basically like tasks, quests, maybe like the daily activities that they had, but like better. Kind of reminded, it. but um, we hear um, Gatorade training facility. So the Gatorade training facility is back. The mecca of my player physical training gets a makeover on multiple levels. Um, basically the same thing, but the huge thing right here is rental courts. 
You want an uninterrupted, uninterrupted run of games with your friends or other ballers you just met? Rent a court in the Gatorade training facility and play games however you want. So this is going to be big for people that do those wagers, they do series. You want to play your friends? You can just rent a court, be like, okay, we'll play five games in here and we can just play uninterrupted. We don't have to worry about, oh my God, can we get the court? Any of that. Just so easy to set up. You know what I mean? That's going to be so crazy. I'm going to be like, challenge somebody to a, a wager. You can just get them in a the rental court. You can get the game done right away. That's going to be so huge for content. Really going to be so huge for content creators. Um, so they got special courts. They got the Mamba special court with the Kobe with the 8 and 24, as you guys saw in the trailer. Um, so that's a huge thing that's going to um, honor Kobe. So I'm a, I, I like that. And that's thing is the fireball. Oh, holding a court in the city is going to come with an air of prestige in the next gen version of NBA 2K21. On occasion, you will see a fireball being used on the courts. Yes, literally a ball that is on fire. When your team wins 10 games in a row on affiliation courts, the ball used in your game will immediately catch on fire and stay lit till you lose. So it's like the old town thing. When you win 10 games on the court, your ball is on fire. And expect crowds to gather around your court when this happens. You already know that everyone seeing the fireball would be like a bat signal for the best ballers to start lining up to just throw in your rain. That is so cool, guys. I don't know if this is cool to you guys, but just adding small stuff like that is so... That's so huge for the game. It's the little stuff. You know what I mean? It's really the little stuff that gets me excited. Stuff like that. Yeah, I remember how like every affiliation in 17 and 16, they all had like... And they all had the elite, like a like special thing that they showed. So that's amazing. So they have a new pink diamond plaza place, um, decked out in fluorescent lights and music orchestrated by resident DJ. It hosts the entirety of the My Team Triple Threat online experience. So this is just My Team Triple Threat and it's in the pink diamond plaza in the city. So they got apparel stores. Basically that means they have a store for every single brand. They have a Nike store, a Jordan store. Um, Adidas, Under Armour, Puma, all of that, a store for each different brand. So that's gonna be cool. So let's go to affiliations right now. Let's break it down. There's four affiliations. Um, Northside Knights, South City Vipers, Beast of the East, and Western Wildcats. You guys can see a little bit of them in the park trailer. Um, we're gonna talk about, we talked a little bit about how you have to be pro one um, from Rookieville before you can actually choose it. If you switch affiliations, you're gonna reset all the way down to pro one. So you can't be a switch affiliations. When you choose your affiliations, think about what affiliation you really wanna be. And basically it talks about right here. So rep, if you play on your own courts, you're going to get more rep than if you play on the courts of your rival affiliation. So I, I guess that kind of matters. You want to be at affiliations with your friends because if you're going to be at affiliations not with your friends, then either they're going to be getting less rep or you're going to be getting less rep. So start hitting up your friends being like, okay, we're going to this affiliation. We're not going to this affiliation. Like you guys start thinking about it. Okay, um, Rival Day Conquest. So basically it says the final two weeks, friend, so there's, there's mirrors in the game, but the final two weeks of every mirror term will feature the accumulation of a series of events to watch the crown which affiliation runs the city. Rival Day Conquest is a key event where all rep earning restrictions are removed from the city and you're encouraged to invade. Oh, so you can, in Rival Day, you can invade any kind of affiliation. You're encouraged to invade every other borough with your teammates and take hold of the courts. Keep a close eye on the leaderboard located in each court area. At the end of at the end of Rival Day Conquest, the four affiliations will be ranked by score and seeded for the accumulation of the season, the Rival Day Championship. Okay, so in the Rival Day Championship taking place in the event center. This is the final piece of the puzzle confirming your affiliations as the true champions of the city. Battle head to head with teams from other affiliations as you engage in this experience. For the affiliation that comes out on top, the spores of the city await you. You'll be able to head to your affiliation city hall and pick up your winner's chest, so you get free VC. But the real prize is your mayor will be able to deck out the entire borough and make your affiliation to envy in the city. So basically, you get a brand new park that they get to deck out <laughs> once you, if you win the Rival Day Championship. That is huge. That is fun. That's exciting. So we're going to go in right now what the mayors are. And basically, um, the mayors are like the new people that they kind of like run the city. So they have um, different responsibilities. And affiliation videos. So mayors will have assorted videos during the term that will appear in game on the jumber charms in the core areas you can expect your mayor to emit rallying cries and motivate the members of the affiliations to perform at the peak of their abilities so they get to create their custom playlist they get to design the courts they get to have special mirror designs they get to have uniform selections they get to choose what uniforms all the members will wear as they stream onto the court so are the rivals. So they're going to briefly talk about mayors. They're going to say, we have some hand selected the initial candidates for mayors. Spoiler, they will be some of the biggest names in the NBA 2K community. You know all of them. 
You know what I mean? I, I don't mean I've heard who, who some of who the mayors are. Might be, you know what I mean? Some really huge names. These four big time community influencers will be leading the charge for a mayor program, but these positions aren't permanent. Every six weeks, we'll be holding an election week in the game where you, the community representing your affiliations, will have the final say on who becomes mayor to represent the cause. These are going to be exciting times that can turn the tides and momentum. We have some fun ideas in store to make election weeks fun and memorable. Stay tuned. Okay, so anybody can get elected to the mayor. It's going to be, wow, that is crazy. That is literally crazy, guys. So basically, other than that, they just say they have new skateboard, being mats, then you can walk and you can bar at the same time. Um, so I guess that's cool. But like, those are small things that I'm not really going to talk about much. New cosmetics. They have hair, accessories. Um, make sure and hit up Embellish. You have many new stores where you can pick up chain necklaces to show off your style. The new apparel stores. It all looks cool. That's basically the conclusion of it. Let me know what you guys think. What features are you most excited for, man? It's going to be crazy. Ask me if you guys have any questions below. I just want to update you guys on all the news. Drop a like. If this video helped you or informed you, and I am most guys. Funny how now she be calling me back. She see that I got it, I'm stuck in the trap. 40 autos, and we put it right back. 40 autos, and he left in the back. I can't be trusting, cause people just act. I get the money, I run it right back. The 